sometimes self-improvement can be a bad thing because if you don't want to see what areas other people are lacking when it comes to mental health, then don't work on yourself. It is very evident who is working on themselves and who isn't. I say all that to say this. Today, there are men who simply lack motivation, drive, and willpower. They make excuses and give themselves all sorts of reasons not to take action and achieve the things that they want i'm not talking about conquering the world here that's not what i'm talking about i'm simply saying the little things little things in life uh, that are e essential to your peace and happiness for example men are marrying less than ever before understandably so as well to some extent social media, feminist movement, and the decline in masculinity has influenced this because dating isn't about finding a partner to spend the rest of your life, life with. Marriages aren't about till death do us apart. It's all changed. Now it's about fulfilling the need for validation, pleasure seeking, excitement, and attention. But as men, there is a lack of motivation in today's society. If you're seeking a partner that shares your values, go and get one. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Women are bad, right? That's what you're going to say. They can't be all bad. There are good ones out there and you just have to go and look for them. You have to look for them in places that you don't usually go. Put a little bit more effort into finding a good one. They might be at the bar, or they might not be at the bar. Maybe they might be at a church, or maybe those are the worst places to find good wives. All I'm trying to say is you have to come up with a plan, right? You have to come up with a plan if you want to settle down. You have to come up with a plan in order for you to find one that will be worth your time. What I do know is that if you set your mind to finding that person, you would come up with a strategy, a plan to filter through all the haystack to find yourself that needle. This is the same with your goals too. Don't just get by doing the same things day after day. Try something new. Opportunities don't come knocking. We have to look for these opportunities. I think it is it is like this, right? No, have you ever been shopping on a Black Friday uh, sale before at the stores? It's chaotic. Everyone is reaching for the, the same things and everyone wants it just as bad. That's why all the fight breaks out. But if you're willing to fight someone for a TV, how much more should you fight for making improvements to your life? That job that you didn't think you could perform well in, maybe you, you got to give it a try. Find a hobby. Do something other than video games. I think video games have their place. They have advantages. But for the most part, I think it's a waste of time. Find a hobby, not video games. Mm -hmm. If you have dreams, small or big, you know, <laughs> I think every dream is a big dream these days. You know, sometimes just getting myself to the kitchen to make dinner after work, that's a big dream. <laughs> you know, it's something that I just do because I have to do it, right? It's not like I really want to do it. It's a push in order for me to, to get myself there. And that's the same for a lot of things. You have to push yourself to get yourself to that point. There's one thing that is certain in life, and that is that you will fail at something. You will look back and think, I shouldn't have done it that way. 
I shouldn't have done that. And that is okay. Don't let that fear hold you back. Steady your nerves. Remember, there are people out there looking to get you. There are people that want to intimidate you, rattle you, pressure you into making decisions that will negatively affect you. Steady your nerves. When you aim high, pressures and stress also comes for the ride. Just your talent alone will not get you to where you want to go, where you want to be. You know, I love football. I'm talking about soccer here for, for you Americans and Canadians. I'm talking about soccer. <laughs> A lot of times when I watch soccer, there's one team that is really good and they play in the best football. And then you have another team that's not playing so good, but they end up winning that game. What's the problem? It's not that the team that played well didn't deserve to win. They did. But strategy, mentality, drive, and motivation comes into play. Maybe the, the other team that won, that didn't play that good. They had all of those things or parts of those things. And that en enabled them to win. The only person that can stop you from being the man you want to be is you. I remember the first time that I heard uh, the great prophet Jay-Z say these words. I will not lose. He said it on a track. <laughs> and, I, you know, I remember hearing that as a kid and I thought to myself, man, like, why did he even say that? Like, why, why, why did they say those words? Like, I will not lose. I got it. Because losing is a choice. Right? Because while we fail sometimes, and we all fail, losing is a choice. It means you've given up. It means you've stopped working, searching, searching for a way to achieve your goals. Remember, masculine men build. Masculine men achieve. So, steady your nerves and stay focused. One way to motivate yourself is to be around people who admire you and people that you admire and you aspire to be like one day. The can-do mentality overcomes and reaches for things that are unseen. All you have is an idea floating in, in your mind and you think, yes, I can do it. Get your masculinity back. <laughs> With that being said, if you're still here watching at this moment, I would like you to take a moment and smash that subscribe button and that like button, right? Talk to me in the comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts. You know what? I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>